welcome back to our new video on consumer equilibrium so the cons in your syllabus there uh, you have consumer equilibrium according to the two approaches number one is your cardinal approach as i told you before what is cardinal and ordinal the second one is your ordinal approach So in cardinal approach, you will understand the consumer equilibrium of one commodity and consumer equilibrium of in case of two commodities. In ordinal approach, you will be understanding consumer equilibrium on the basis of indifference curve and budget line so today we will be understanding in this video consumer equilibrium in case of cardinal approach in case of one commodity and in the next video we will understand in the case of two commodities and in the further videos we will understand the ordinal approach consumer equilibrium See, why do we study this consumer equilibrium the question arises is how much of a commodity a consumer buys so that he maximizes his satisfaction and attain the point of equilibrium. Purchase of a commodity by a consumer depends upon three factors. Right, number one is the price of a commodity. Number second is the marginal utility of the commodity. And number three is your marginal utility of money. Right. See, consumer equilibrium means your maximum satisfaction. So, how many commodities uh, you should buy so that you attain a maximum satisfaction. You do not turn up into a negative marginal utility or your total utility does not reduce. So, you have to uh, calculate what will be your uh, utility, uh, con sorry, commodities, units of commodity that you should buy in order to maximize your satisfaction. So, it depends upon your three factors. Number one, your price of a commodity. Number two, the marginal utility of a commodity. And number three, the marginal utility of money. Now, let us understand what is your marginal utility of money. See, marginal utility of money is worth of a rupee. Means, your one rupee can buy you how many things? How many things or how many units of the commodity so worth of a rupee a marginal utility of money is worth of a rupee let's take an example if your one rupee could buy you a hundred grams of sugar 500 grams of rice and 500 grams of salt so the satisfaction the utility which you derived after consuming all these units let's say is 50 utils so in this case your marginal utility of money is 50 like your one rupee the worth of one rupee gives you 50 utils of satisfaction so this is your marginal utility of money see in this your marginal utility of money is assumed to be constant right so let's take an example 
you are given marginal utility of money is four utils. The price of the commodity X is four utils. Oh, sorry, four rupees. Right. So your consumer is at its equilibrium when your price is equal to marginal utility of X divided by marginal utility of M. Right? Or you can take MUM here price down. So if you say your marginal utility of money is equal to marginal utility of X upon my price of X. You are at the equilibrium when your marginal utility that is your four utils comes equal when you divide your price by your marginal utility. At that unit your satisfaction will be maximum. Okay, let's take an example now. Let's take the example here. These are the X units. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the marginal utility of money, oh sorry, marginal utility of X, your commodity X gives you 20, 18, 16, 10, 0 and minus 5. So let's calculate your marginal utility of money. 20. How do you calculate your marginal utility of money? Marginal utility of x divided by the price of x. 20 by 4 gives you 5. 18 by 4 will give you somewhere around 4.5. 16 by 4 will give you 4. 10 by 4 will give you uh, somewhere around 2.5. 0 by 4 will give you 0 and minus 5 by 4 will give you minus 1.5. So, see this. Your where is at, uh, at commodity 1, you are at your equilibrium when your marginal utility of money is equal to marginal utility of x divided by price of x. What was your marginal utility? 4. So can you see at what point did you get your marginal utility equal to 4? Here. Right. So consumer is at its equilibrium when consumer by three units of a commodity. He will be at its equilibrium because you have calculated the MUM, right? Divide uh, by dividing your marginal utility of X and uh, your price of X. You, your constant MUM is given to you. This is your constant and this is the calculated one. So these two are equal at the unit 3. So 3 units you will buy in order to maximize your satisfaction. Now see, you have worth, you are paying rupees 4 for X, 1 unit, right? You have worth, what you are getting is your 5. So what you are spending, 4, you are getting a worth of 5. So definitely you should opt for this option. And the second, um, if you are uh, consuming 2, you are paying 4. And what is your worth on this? 4.5, so again this is more. Right? So you should again adopt this situation. When it comes to 3, this is your maximum satisfaction you will get. And if you go to uh, say the fourth unit, right, you are paying 4, 
but what is the worth you're getting what is the satisfaction you're getting what is the worth of your money 2.5 is less so you won't adopt this situation you will definitely not adopt the fifth and the sixth situation so you are at your maximum level of satisfaction is at till third units so you can buy the three units of commodity x so let's understand with uh, this graphically also numerically we have understood let's understand this graphically also here you will take utility here you will take the quantity of your good that is x let's say this is 10 20 30 and let us take the units 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and so on this we have done with the relationship uh, between your TU and MU we have done this this is your marginal utility of money See, I told you before that your marginal utility, utility of money remains constant. So, as your utility from each at point 0, your utility is 30. At point 1, your utility will be reduced and point 2, your utility will be reduced 3. So, your utility will be reducing as you consume more and more of your units of a commodity. So this is your marginal utility of x, this is your mun, this is your marginal utility. So this is the point and this, these are the units where you achieve a ma uh, maximum satisfaction. This is the point of equilibrium. Where your mu, your px is equal to mu x divided by mu m. Right? So this is the point of equilibrium. So this is how we can represent this one case in the case of one commodity graphically.